16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth in Mamre. As he sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought, that you may bathe your feet, and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, Let me bring you a little food, that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer, and gave it to a servant, who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men, and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, There in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The Word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ. On behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. The 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The first reading comes from Genesis 18, 1-10a. This is the story of how Abraham, who is camped by the terebinth of Mamre, a terebinth is a type of oak tree. Remember, this is Israel, there aren't that many trees around. And he sees some visitors coming along, three men. Now, who are these three men? It's either God and two angels, or as would be depicted later on in a famous icon, the Trinity. From the way that this passage is phrased, though, and what follows it, it's clear that it's God and two angels. Abraham responds to the visit of these people with extravagant generosity. The amount of bread that's made, the fact that a fatted calf is slaughtered in order to feed them, shows that he's a truly beneficent host. This is important in Bedouin society because it is an absolute requirement that one hosts whoever shows up at one's tent, because not to would be to condemn that person to death. So even if it's an enemy who shows up at one's tent, one is supposed to take care of that person. The response to this generosity is the prediction that by that same time the next year, Sarah would have a son. Remember, Sarah had been barren a long time. Abraham had even slept with Sarah's servant, Hagar, in order to have a child that Sarah could adopt. But that wasn't what was intended by God. Sarah herself would have a child. The second reading is from Colossians 1, 24-28. The author begins by saying that he's filling up what's lacking in the suffering of Christ. What could be lacking? Wasn't the blood of Christ shed on the cross enough to buy us freedom from sin? And it was. But there is one thing lacking, to make it present again. That when we suffer with trust, we make present the Paschal mystery, the death and resurrection of Jesus in our own flesh. And in fact, this becomes a proclamation of the gospel to the Gentiles, who had once been excluded from salvation, but now, in the mystery of God's love, they're invited in to become the chosen people, just like the Jews were. The gospel is from Luke 10, 38-42. This is the story of Martha and Mary. They're the sisters of Lazarus, and when Jesus enters their village, Martha dedicates herself to hospitality, much as Abraham did. But Mary just sits there, just listening to what Jesus is saying. So Martha's a bit annoyed by the fact that Mary isn't at helping her out with the requirements of hospitality. And she speaks to Jesus, saying, why don't you tell her that she should help me? Jesus responds, you're anxious about many things. Mary has chosen the better portion. She's listening to Jesus. At a spiritual level, this reminds us that we shouldn't get so caught up with our activities, even ministerial activities, that we miss the point, that we forget to nourish ourselves with the presence of Jesus. But also at a social level, sometimes hosts are so busy hosting other people that they never even talk to those people. We should do less and enjoy the presence of the people around us more. And may God bless us.